Hello there, right here. Today guys, we have a highly requested video. That is how you could delete your old chunks so you can get the brand new 1-18 to terrain anywhere in your world. This could get you the super tall mountains or the two new cave biomes right next to your base. And the game does a good job of blending the old with the new so don't worry about doing this. And after that, I'll show you guys how you can choose to have the new 1.18 deep caves removed and have your bedrock be put back where it was in 1.17. This is useful if you have spawn proof above the bedrock and you have farms up there that you don't want to have slowed down by the new spawning in the deep caves. Or maybe you have a perimeter and eventually you want to move your farm down to the bottom of the world to get the increased spawn rate. Or you just want it to look the same as before the update. Now we are going to be using third party programs to do this. So this isn't something you can strictly do with inside the game. If you want to know how you can do something similar like this. But in survival, check out this video here where I cover all that. Now after watching this video, if you still need help, ask for help in my discord which is linked below. Now subscribe for more helpful videos and let's get started. So first I'll show you how you guys can easily remove chunks in your world for 1.17 or 1.18. Let's first find our save folder, go into options, go into resource pack, click this open pack. This will pull up this folder here. We just go to the top and we go back to where it says Minecraft. Then we go to where it says saves. And then from here you want to find your single player world. Keep in mind the names here in this folder are going to be different than what they are at the very top. It's actually this name here that you need to pay attention to. So once you find your world that you want to change the chunks in, go ahead and do copy and then paste. This will just make a backup of the world. In case you don't like the changes, you can go back to the original. Now we'll go back into our Minecraft game. We'll go back into single player and we should be able to see our first world as well as our new copy of it. Now we're going to open up our MCA selector program, which I'll link down below. From here we go to files, open world. And then once again, we choose the world we want to do. I'm going to choose the new copy that we made and hit select folder. Then we're going to be prompt to choose which dimension. We're going to choose overworld. Then it just loads in and this is where the testing for 1.17 and 1.18. This is a view from the top down. You can use your scroll to zoom in and out. You can hold down the scroll button to move the map around. You can use left and drag to highlight chunks, right and drag to remove those highlights. So let's say this is your building area in your world and you have a bunch of area like over here that you're not really using. Or if you do have something here, you're not worried if you actually lose it. You can go ahead and highlight whatever chunks you want to and then we're going to delete them. So when the game reloads them, it's going to be the new 1 to 18 terrain. So after you have whatever you want selected, we just go into selection, then we go down to delete, select the chunks. We get this prompt warning that we're going to delete all these chunks from our world. We'll go ahead and hit OK and it's going to do that. And now once the map refreshes, you can see there's a big dark area here. Thanks to Quirz for making this program and for showing me how to use it. So we can actually go ahead and hop into that world and the game is automatically going to take a little bit of time to get those new 1-18 chunks put into place once we load the area. So let's see what the new chunks look like. You can already see where this was a savanna and in the distance we no longer got savanna. We got some new 1.18 chunks and it turns out it looks like there was a jungle here in this seed in 1.18. We also got some dark forest there. Now because 1.17 seeds and 1.18 seeds are different, you're going to get different biomes in the same area. So this was 1.17 seed over here and of course when I deleted it and loaded it up in 1.18 we got the new terrain as well as new biomes based off our seed but in 1.18. Keep in mind the game does a really good job at blending the old chunks with the new ones. Even though we went ahead and deleted this after loading this in 1.18, the game still came in and redid all the blending with these new chunks. So you shouldn't have to be afraid to do this in older versions or even newer versions. It doesn't really matter. The game does a really good job at making it look great. Now because of the way the game does its blending, it kind of keeps track of what the old biome was and tries to continue that along the edges of the chunks that were deleted. Now here I went ahead and deleted a 3x3 three three area right here and also deleted a 3x3 three three area right here, here, and over here. But because the area is so small, the game just kind of takes what's around it and tries to continue that inside of it. Which ends up kind of looking a little bit strange here. But I would recommend deleting an area that's at least a 5x5 five five or bigger. Otherwise you're just not going to see any new area inside. In this world here where we have all these amazing builds. And I remove the chunks on the outside. You can see it blends really well. Now this is from Drathmore's spawn. He is amazing. You guys can check him out at his Twitch channel which I'll link down below. Keep in mind if you do any type of custom terrain around the area. The game's going to try to use like the old terrain to merge it with it. So here you can see he put in some glass which makes a really cool fog effect. But in the new chunks the game will just put in what was before. Next I'm going to show how you can keep your bedrock when updating to 1.18. And then after that we'll look at how you can do this even if you're already updated. So the first thing you need to do is choose which world you want to update. 
and we will want to make a copy of this world. I'm going to use my 1.17 farms old world. To make a copy, what we're going to do is go to the Minecraft folder. We can find this by going into resource packs and saying open up pack folder. That's going to open up this folder here. We're just going to go back to Minecraft. Then we're going to go to where it says saves. Then we're going to find the name of the world that we want to copy and update. We do control C and then control V. And then if we come up here and refresh this folder, copy of the world should end up near the original. I'm going to leave the original alone and only update the copy of it. Now we open up the program called MCA Selector. I'll have it linked down below. Whenever you use a third party program like this or whenever you update your Minecraft worlds, you need to always make backups in case something bad goes on. We're going to now go to File, Open World. We're going to find the Minecraft world that we're going to work on, which is this Copy 8 one. Go ahead and select Folder. Now it's going to ask us which dimension we're going to work in. We're going to work in the default one, which is going to be Overworld. Negative one means Nether, and then one means End. Go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to load it up. So now we can see my farm testing world. Using the left mouse we can highlight chunks and then using the right mouse we can deselect them. Holding down the middle mouse button we can move the map around and scrolling in and out can zoom in and out. So let's say I only want to remove the new deep caves from this area as well as this area here. Currently this world is still 1 at 17 so if we use this little slider here we can actually look at what's underneath of the world. And if we go below Y level 0, you see there's nothing. We want to prevent the new caves from being placed down here. I'm going to set the slider to 2 so I can see the bedrock and then if it's working. We select our area. Now we're going to go into Tools, Change Fields. And right in this field where it says Replace Blocks, we're going to type in bedrock equals structure underscore void. Everything else will keep at default and then we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. It's going to give us this prompt saying that it's going to change some chunks in your world. Are you sure you want to do this? We're going to say OK and it's going to go ahead and start changing them. So now you can see there is some dark areas here. This is actually the void underneath the world. All the bedrock is removed. You can see the areas where we didn't do it. It looks normal but this here looks very similar to this area where I already removed the bedrock. And we're using the structure void block to replace the bedrock as kind of a placeholder. So the game won't notice it when we update it. So now we're ready to update our world. You can go ahead and go back to the Minecraft, get out of here. And this one here is our world that we changed using the program, copy 8. But now we're going to load this in 1.18. We're currently in 1.17. So now we're here in 1.18. We're going to go and find that same world. And we're going to go ahead and just load the world up. It's automatically going to take a little bit more time to switch out and put in the new caves in all the areas. Except for where we removed the bedrock. <laughs> now the world is loaded and we come over to this area where I selected. You can see that there's no bedrock here. But there is actually the structure voids. So now we can go ahead and leave this world again. We can go back to this program. Then what you want to do is select that area where you want to have the bedrock be put back in again. And we'll go back to tools, change field, and where it says replace blocks, we'll put in the opposite. So we're going to put in structure void equals bedrock. Like so, keep this all default, hit OK. It's going to give us this prompt. Go ahead and hit OK. Going to change those chunks that we selected. So now the area looks like normal once again. But if we go over here to the selector and we go below Y level 0, you can clearly see that the chunks around got converted with the new caves in the deep slate there. But the chunks that we swapped out are now once again void underneath. And we can confirm this in game. Go ahead and hop in. And all our structure voids got converted back into bedrock. So it's going to be just like it was before. It did update the flowing water that was nearby. But other than that, you now got your void underneath of your chunks just as if it was like 1.17. Because the world is technically still deeper, you can still build down in this area here. And your farm still will be slower than 1.17 because the spawning starts at the bottom and works its way upwards. You can learn more on how 1.18 impacts the speed of farms while watching this video here. So next I'm going to show you guys how you can take your 1.18 world and remove the old bottom chunks that looks just like 1.17. Now the difference with this method from the previous one is that now that your world has already updated to 1.18, we have deep slate where we used to have bedrock at Y level 0. So it's going to take us a little bit more time to get the same results as we did with the previous method. So to start out first we want to figure out which world we want to do this to, then go into your Minecraft folder, find that world, make a copy and a paste of it. So now we have a backup of the world that we're going to work with. Then we're going to go into our MCA selector program. We're going to go to file, open world, find the copy that we made and go ahead and select. This is the world I'm going to be working with. This world has some 1.17 loaded chunks, which used to be bedrock here at wide level zero, but now they're switched over to deep slate. We also have some 1.18 chunks, which you can see over here. This method I'm going to show can work both for putting in bedrock at wide level zero and either new chunks or old ones. But typically people would be doing this in old chunks because they want to keep it like it was prior to updating. So I'm going to choose the area where I want to have no blocks below Y level 0. So I'm going to choose both some 1.17 and 1.18. We're going to go ahead and go into tools, 
then change fields. In the delete section, we're going to put in this, negative four, colon, negative one. We're going to hit OK, and then we're going to hit OK. And that's going to delete those chunks. I'm going to update this. And if we look below Y level zero, we see that there is nothing down here, but we still got all of our stuff above Y level zero, including anything that you might have built at the surface. If you look at the surface, the surface looks completely normal. So if you have like a farm here or a perimeter, it's not going to remove any of that. So next we're going to come in and place in some bedrock at this level if you want it to be there. You could choose to have it the way it is now, which is if we look in game, we just have deep slate here in the 1.70 chunks. And over here where it was 1.18, we've deleted everything, but we still got to the blocks that were placed there at Y level 0. So to make it just like 1.17, we want to put in our bedrock here. And the way we can do that is we can either copy the same type of bedrock formation that there is at the bottom of the world, and then we'll move it in here using a third party program. Or we can find the exact bedrock that you used to be here by opening up this same seed but in 1.17. So the method I will show you guys is just taking some of the bedrock from a different area and putting it up here and it should look relatively natural. First we're going to leave this world and then we're going to open up a program called Amulet which kind of does a similar thing as the old MC edit. We go ahead and click open world. We're going to get this window. We're going to have to find the world that we're working with which is probably the one you logged into most recently. We're going to go over here on the side and do a 3D editor. Click that. It's going to load up the world. Once it's loaded, it's going to look like this. By holding down right click and moving your mouse, you can look at different areas. By using WASDA, you can move your character around. And by using your left click, you can point and highlight different areas by dragging and dropping. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how big area we need a bedrock to actually place in this area over here. So I'm just going to count these, which are chunks. So it looks like we need 13 by 6 chunk area. And I'm just going to come over here and we'll start by selecting one edge of this bedrock we're just going to click and drag and now we can use our right mouse button to move ourselves around we're gonna get to the far end over here and we're going to go up five blocks and release there now we selected just this bedrock area we need to be six chunks wide so we're gonna come on the back side here we're gonna grab and click and drag this blue area here we're gonna do one chunk two three four five and then six to be right here we're going to move back over to our area here and we're going to hit this copy on the left hand side So copy that and hit paste it's then going to put this big area in front of us and we can kind of move around a little bit but eventually you just want to click and that's going to put it into your place this is not exactly where we want it but we're going to move our character facing one of the cardinal directions we're going to hold and click this move section then we use our wasda to move the actual formation around we can use space and shift to move it up and down. It's a little tricky, but you'll eventually get used to the controls. Essentially what we want to do is fill in this area using this. I got it pretty close. Looks like stuff looks like it's all matching up. Just want to double check some of the corners so it looks all good. So it looks like we have it fitting in this place nicely. Now we're going to move it up so it's right where the old 1.17 bedrock used to be. So we're going to hold this and move it all the way upwards. And we can just let it barely show up. So right there, now it is exactly where it used to be for 1.17. So once you're ready, you hit this confirm here on the left hand side and that's going to put it into place. And now if you look closely, we can see that this is bedrock texture and not deep slate. Remember to do control S to save it before leaving the world. And then you can hit this little X up here. Let's hop back into Minecraft and load up that world. So now we come in here, we can see we got bedrock here, just like it used to be in 1.17. Keep in mind, any flowing water that flowed down here, it just gets kind of stuck like that. And just like the other one, you can still build underneath of here. Let's take a look at what it looks like above it. So anywhere where caves kind of cut into it, going to go ahead and fill it back in again. The only thing that might make it look not so like 1.17 is that inside of here is deep slate rather than stone. You could use that program to switch this out with stone if you wanted to, or you could have copied from an area that had stone already. But let's go ahead and take a look over in an area that was 1.18 so over here is 1.18 chunks and for here it actually looks pretty natural we got the deep slate kind of popping through at the higher layers and we also got the deep slate at the lower layers so it looks more natural in this situation now leave a like and check out this playlist where i'm designing an automatic farm to obtain every item in the game minecraft or this playlist where you can learn about cool tricks that you can do in 1.18 we're getting close to 6100 members over on my discord there's tons of great stuff over there including if you need any help with minecraft stuff or if you want to learn how to join my servers i would like to thank all you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye